Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now on this Thursday, April the 2nd. A big day yesterday for Rutgers University Athletics as the president of the school, Robert Barchi, said by June there will be a plan for upgraded facilities. And if Rutgers is going to become what they started to become last year, which was a Big Ten program, a college program, athletic program that people believe can be one of the bigger ones across the country, one that will be nationally recognized, and one that can recruit the best recruits on a year-in, year-out basis and keep the best recruits from New Jersey from fleeing to other schools. Upgraded facilities is vital. When you listen to kids when they commit, whether it be big-time basketball, big-time football, around the country, one of the things they always talk about, one of the things coaches always like to preach our facilities. You go throughout the SEC, throughout the Big Ten. Our own Dan Dunga did a whole great you know, retrospective around the Big Ten before last season began with football, going around to the different schools and looking at their facilities, talking to their coaches. And you could see just from some of the, the galleries and the pictures in those pieces how great the facilities are around the Big Ten. If Rutgers really wants to compete, it's one thing to you know, enter the Big Ten. It's one thing to be included in the club. But if you want to be talked about as one of the charter members as the years go on, which to me, if Rutgers is going to enter the Big Ten, the only possible thing they're hoping for in the future is to be at the top of the Big Ten. That has to be the goal at one point or another. And if that's going to happen, a 38-year-old Rutgers Athletic Center can't exist. A 38-year-old rack can't be the selling point. You have to upgrade a facility like that. You have to modernize a facility like that. And you have to put back money into the program in order to make money, in order to bring these recruits in, in order to become the kind of athletic facility and athletic program Rutgers strives to be. So all of the rhetoric we heard in the last couple of weeks from everyone inside and outside of the Rutgers athletic program was important. It was important because it started a conversation. It was important because I think it got the ball rolling here inside the offices at Rutgers University. And now as we move forward and we'll see what this plan is and, and how it all comes to fruition starting in June. But today's a good day to be a Rutgers fan. Today's a good day to be a fan of Rutgers athletics because I think we've gotten past the threshold here. I think we've gotten past the line of demarcation where you say, you know, where are we going with this? We're in the Big Ten, but now what? Now how can we improve even more? It's one thing to just be part of a you know, prestigious, prestigious conference. It's another thing. It's a completely different thing to try to be a charter member there, to try to be one of the best members of that. And look, you go around the entire Big Ten, you see great facilities at Michigan. You see great facilities at Ohio State. You see great facilities at Penn State. And if Rutgers is going to be competing against those schools for the same kids, especially here in state, as those schools, especially Ohio State and Michigan recently, have made no bones about it. And we all know about Penn State and James Franklin when it comes to football. They've made no bones about wanting to come here and take good quality New Jersey high school athletes away from the state and bring them to those schools. And you know what? If I'm a kid and I, everything's all equal and I want to stay home, but I, I want a great chance of becoming a great athlete and maybe going to the professional ranks, and I see a facility that could make me that kind of athlete, that could help me along with my goals... I might choose an out-of-state school. I'm being totally honest with you. But if I see it here and I could stay in-state, that, that might be a reason to stay at Rutgers. So this is a big day. And as we move forward here with this, this is one of those moments, those watershed moments, where you say, how and when did Rutgers become one of the upper echelon athletic programs in the country, whether it be football and or basketball? And if, if that day ever comes, I think we'll look back to this and we'll say, the day they actually said we have to upgrade the rack we're going to upgrade the rack, and what we will do is take a 38-year-old building and modernize it for the athlete of today. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports. Now.